Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to add an extra working days payment in a salary slip. So before going into the practical implementation, let's first understand what are we exactly trying to do and why do we want to do it. So let's say that there is an employee who worked on a holiday. So holiday is actually a holiday list. So this is a holiday list that is currently active. And if an employee works on any of this day, so what should happen is that this particular day's payment should be included in the salary slip. So let's consider the example of month of April over here. So April have 30 days, all right, and holiday is uh, Sunday, that is four days are considered as a holiday, all right. So based on that, the payment days will be equal to 26. Now let's say that employee worked on all of this 26 days and apart from that, an employee also decided to work on 4th of April, that is on Sunday. So now what happens is that he should be given the payment for a 27 days, that is 26 plus 1. Uh, I mean 26 plus 1 that is Sunday's payment and that should be equal to 27. Now this can be calculated uh, by doing a proper payroll settings and uh, we will see in some time and it is calculated based on the formula like this is the formula for the amount calculation which we will see in some time. So let's go back to this one. So right now this is a payroll setting over here. So in order to make sure that the extra days payment is included you need to make some changes in the payroll setting. So what you need to do is over here you need to select this option that is calculate payroll working days based on attendance and consider unmarked attendance as an absent and over here make sure that this option is not checked. So I will show you what happens when this option is checked. Let me show you. So over here if you see, um, okay let me just refresh it. One second, and I'll select Richard. So, for the month of May, if you see that the working days is 26 over here. Now, if I select this option that is include holidays in total number of working days, what will happen is that the, um, the working days will be equal to 31. That is the total number of days in the month of May that will be included in the working days. Basically, the holidays will also be included. That's that's what I mean. All right, so let's select once again. I will show you what happens. So see over here, this is working days. That is 31 and that's how it is. So make sure that this option is unchecked over here and this is just to disable the rounded total and for this over here, now what it means is, for example, let's say a per day salary of an employee is 1000. So if you specify that fraction of daily salary for half day as 0.5, so what will happen is 500 rupees will be considered as a half day salary. So if any employee works for a half day for any day, that for that day, this much amount will be calculated. So I hope this is clear, like this payroll settings is clear and this payroll settings is really important and plays a very crucial role in calculating the salary for extra working days. Alright, so let's go over here and what I'll do is I'll consider the month of April over here. Alright. And so if you see that working days over here is 26 and let me show you something over here. Now Richard is present on every single day in the month of April but if you see that Richard has is present on 4th of April. Now if you see 4th of April is Sunday that is uh, a holiday considered as a holiday. So because of that the absent days is minus 1 that means an extra one day has Richard has worked an extra one day in the month of April and the payment days over here is now 27. So what I'll do is I will add one more day one more holiday like one more holiday working day like let's say 11th of April like Richard work on worked on 11th of April and uh, let's submit it all right and I will I will refresh this all right so let me select Richard again and if you see that start date will be I will select month of April since we are uh, since we are referring to this one 
and over here you can see that working days is 26 but absent days has now become minus 2 that means in 2 extra day has an employee has worked for 2 extra days and payment days is now 28 now based on this the amount uh, this uh, salary is also calculated now let me show you the in hand actual amount so if you see it is 25,000 over here let me show you so this is the actual in hand amount that is 25,000 so for 26 days the amount is 25,000 but since an employee has worked for more two more days the amount is now uh, incremented to 26,923 so the important thing is to note is how is the amount is calculated just so you have a clear idea and don't have any confusion so let's see now this is the formula which I was talking about so any salary component that one is divided by the working days so since we have this in hand component now in hand component we saw that the amount for in hand was 25,000 alright so 25,000 divided by 26 that is 25,000 divided by working days 26 is equal to 961 in 961.53 so now what you'll do is 961.53 uh, in two extra working days so let's see what is the extra working days two all right so 961.53 into two so let's calculate what happens so if you do this you get the amount as 1923.06 all right so now what you need to do is you need to add this extra amount into the amount of salary component so 25,000 plus 1923.06 and that is equal to 26923.08 now there's some rounding mistake but it's okay so if you see that uh, this one over here the total amount will be 26923 all right this is the extra amount that was added over here based on this and health benefits it is a flexible component so that's why I will show you like make sure that you see our previous video that is based on the salary component since it is a flexible benefit so it is calculated separately so I hope this video is clear to you like how an extra day payment is, is calculated 